Okay, we're here with Simon Austin, joint manager of the development team. So, 2-1 win at the weekend versus Sutton. I hear it's pretty eventful. Can you talk us through it? I can do, yeah. It's uh, very eventful, as you say. Um, sending off um, after about 20 minutes. So, we had Liam Northwood in goal. Sam was travelling with the first team, which is great. Um, on Friday, we signed Brian Patson, under 16 keeper. And luckily we did. Uh, got, got his minutes after about, after about 20 minutes um, for a sending off, which, um, which wasn't a sending off. Um, ref admitted afterwards it wasn't uh, had a good conversation with the referee but these things happen in football and I think what really pleased me about about Saturday was you can go and win 6-0 and everyone's happy but I think the way we we achieved the three points against Sutton I think just just showed the spirit in the squad and and these things happen yeah people get sent off every week and I think the way the team come together um in that second half especially, was probably one of the best 45 minutes we've played so far this season. So I was very proud of them, to be honest. Um, and rightly so, they were really pleased with themselves afterwards. Um, but as we said, that's done now. We move on to the next game. Following the win, you're now five points clear of second and not lost in September. In terms of how you've got this team playing, you must be really happy with that. Yeah, I am. Yeah, I am. Um, but, as I keep saying to the lads, and they're probably getting bored of me, we've not achieved anything yet. We're top of the league, yeah, and, and I would say I, I think we deserve to be top of the league. Um, but there's a long way to go. Um, the way we're playing, I think, uh, so defensively, I would talk about as being the biggest plus I've seen so far. It's a new group, three weeks before the start of the season, we come together. Uh, it was apparent that, from an attacking perspective, they had a lot of talent. They, 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 were, they were really... They really knew how to take the game to players, uh, to, sorry, to opposition. And so we've kind of originally let, let them to it. And we worked so hard. Kane, credit to Kane, it's, it's part of what he does and he brings to us as a duo. Um, has worked on the defensive shape over and over and over and over again. And it's scenarios like Saturday that all that hard work out there on the training field comes into its own. Um, as I say, we haven't achieved anything yet. I think if you ask any manager at any point in the season, in any league, where do they want to be? Everyone wants to be top of the league. So we're where we want to be. But we haven't achieved anything yet. A hell of a long way to go. Um, but the lads have proved over the last however many weeks that they can do it. So it's down to them to keep doing it, keep learning, keep progressing. This is about winning football matches, but it's also about development. And I think Saturday's performance just aids that development. On the flip side of a coin, whilst you were beating Sutton, Liam Wilkins and Sam Ribbons were called up to the first team on the bench. And you also had a Jordan Tingley travelling. That's got to be great for the lads. Yeah, it's great. It's great. It's great for them personally. It's great for the group. Uh, and I think it's great for the club. Um, and also, I guess, it gave us a bit of a headache, but a nice headache, because that's what we're here for, uh, to develop, develop the lads through. Um, but it was a nice headache to have and then it enabled us to put our development hat on and we brought up some of the younger lads through as well so it gave them that same experience of under 23s football that Sam and Liam and Jordan have got over the last few weeks with the first team um, I, think, I think the average age of our squad over the season so far has been about 18 years and 120 odd days and I think on Saturday it was even younger so we had a really young bench For supporters not aware, can you just tell us a little bit about the lads that got called up? Yeah, so Sam's our keeper, he's been our keeper, first choice keeper all season. He's been pushed by Liam, and we have no problem if we need to playing Liam. Liam is absolutely not a problem, but it's always good to have two good, strong keepers in a squad for, for competition. Sam, we've been aware of Sam for about four or five years now. Sam's been with us at, at Snodland and at Kings Hill, and Sam is one of those players that this season has developed and developed and developed, and I think he can continue to develop. I think he's got a very big future in front of him. He's, um, he's talking, he's commanding of the area, he's fantastic. His, uh, his saving has kept us uh, some clean sheets over the last, I think we've got let in three goals before Saturday, three goals in the last nine, ten weeks. Uh, some, some of the saves Sam's pulled off has been fantastic. Um, he knows the areas that he needs to develop on um, and he's developing. He's a lad that wants to develop week in, week out um, and he's a credit to himself. Liam Wilkins, uh, centre midfield, again, ever-present this season, come to us from Snodland. Um, 
I'll be totally, uh, I'll be totally honest. Liam's, Liam's surprised me this season in terms of his consistency week in, week out. I think he's probably been one of the most consistent performers. Fully aware of his ability. Wouldn't have brought him here if we didn't think he had an opportunity to progress. But he's grown. He's grown now. Uh, one of the first names on the team sheet. Most consistent performer. Uh, and I think Liam's got a real good chance of, of progressing. And then you've got Jordan. Uh, exciting winger. 11 or so goals this season so far. Out and out right winger. Bundles of pace. Quality in the final third. Assists and finishes. Um, and, and again, I think Jordan's slightly younger than the others. So Jordan's got a few more years. But certainly one to look out for. You just touched on it there. But in terms of progression, you've got... Like the under 18s and the under 16s feeding you. Yeah. What's the process of getting players from them to you? Yeah, working regularly with the managers of the 18s and the 16s, uh, joint training sessions. So, Kane and I taking their sessions, some of their players coming into us. Obviously, you, Stones TV, film the game, so we get access to that to watch them. Uh, and then when we're, when we're needing players to fill positions through injuries or through call up to the first team, first thing we do, 18s, 16s, we get them training with us leading up to that game, and then they're involved. Um, they're involved for a number of weeks, so it's not just come in for one week and go again. We'll get players up with us for a set period of time, so three, four weeks at a time. They're with us, they're learning how we do things, they're progressing. Um, and that's what it's got to be. And it's, I think it's great that our lads are now getting that opportunity to do that with the first team as well. So playing some friendlies in midweek, training with the first team, being involved with the first team, travelling away, etc. It's all part and part of that experience that you, you can't replicate. Finally, you've got um, Tring Athletic at home on the 11th. Yep. Their third position with three games in hand. Don't really think they can still overtake you with those three games in hand. They look to be your closest contenders. Yep. How are you going to approach that one? Same as we would any other week. We treat every team that we play against with respect. And the respect that we give them is that we, we do exactly as we would do, no matter who we're playing. Top of the league, bottom of the league, cup game, doesn't matter. We go out there, we approach every game the same. We do what we do, we work on what we do. We're not in a position where we can watch opposition and counteract what they do and work on stuff like that. So we focus on ourselves. I'm confident that if we do that, we'll be there or thereabouts. If we get beaten by a better team on the day, do you know what? So be it. That's a learning curve as well. So we're going to treat them like we would any other week. Um, we want to win. We want to win. We played them up their place. I think it was 3-0. Um, it was a good competitive game. I don't know if they've changed a lot since then, but they've picked up a hell of a great run of results so we need to be aware of that but we just need to focus on us and what we do okay one last thing um first team we're obviously away on the 18th when you played training there at st albans yeah have you got any kind of message for the supporters who might not go to travel to st albans yeah come and watch us absolutely uh there's a really good crowd there saturday there was some there was some noise behind the goal there was some cheering when we scored it was great the lads are talking about it and changing room after uh that's one of those things that kane and i've said from the start come and watch us that's, that's something that you can't replicate on the training field. You can't train for that. That kind of atmosphere is welcomed. Uh, you, you see an enjoyable game. Uh, you'll see a team that plays with a distinctive style. Uh, we'll attack. We'll give it a good go. So, yeah, amongst the fans, talk to yourselves. Talk to some of those fans that have come down over the recent weeks and watched us. Come and give us a go. Obviously, support the first team, support the club. But if you can't make the journey to St Albans, then come watch us.